our, our Monday routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina. This will cover um, today, Monday through Sunday, which is February 26th through March 3rd, 2024. We are already wrapping up February. And as we wrap up February, um, March is approaching fast, like I said, uh, we will have, this is just a reminder that Severe Weather Preparedness Week is coming up next week, beginning on Sunday. And as we do every year, this is the first full week of March that we do um, Severe Weather Preparedness Week for North Carolina. Um, March through June is severe weather season in North Carolina. So we don't wanna wait to prepare for the bad weather to approach us. We wanna prepare and plan way ahead of time. And a big part of uh, next week is practicing safety. For instance, we have the statewide tornado drill scheduled for Wednesday, March 6th at 9.30 a.m. And we wanna make sure that um, if we have severe weather that, that day, we will reschedule to Friday. Um, but as long as I can remember, we've never had to reschedule. So for now, Wednesday, March 6, 9.30 a.m. will be the tornado statewide tornado drill. Um, it's important for you know businesses, schools, anyone at home, public agencies, really everyone. Um, everyone needs to get prepared and practice getting in their safe place and make sure you have multiple ways to receive the warnings. Um, so if you wanna learn more about the Severe Weather Preparedness Week, uh, go ahead and you can go to weather.gov slash RAH slash severe prep and it will tell you all of the topics for the week. It has some fun videos and some infographics that everyone can share with everyone. So that's just another reminder and we will probably remind you one more time on Thursday and um, we'll move on to the to the weather for the week. So um, a few showers this morning if you were in the south and um, another uh, chance of showers along the northern Piedmont is uh, possible later today. And then that disturbance will move across the region Tuesday and result in showers late afternoon through the evening um, tomorrow, and then a cold front will approach from the west on Wednesday with a round of showers moving across the area, probably Wednesday afternoon and night. So the cold front should probably clear everything out by early, early Thursday morning. Um, ahead of that cold front, we're expecting wind gusts of 35 to 45 mile per hour, um, especially in the afternoon Wednesday. And then gusts will also continue behind the front um as it moves out uh thursday so but by thursday afternoon gusts should subside to you know 10 15 mile per hour but during that time frame wednesday and to wednesday night early thursday we're gonna see gusts of 35 to 45 mile per hours um but the bright side wednesday um well if, depending if you like warmth or not the warmth is coming march brings warmth um, Wednesday's temps will be 15 to 20 degrees above normal with highs in the mid to upper 70s. Some areas, especially in the south, southeast, closer to the coast, uh, could hit 79, 80 degrees. So we'll, we'll have another update on that, you know, tomorrow to see what areas will be close to 80. Um, another uh, frontal system will increase rain chances again um, Friday late Friday and into Saturday and Sunday. So we have the first system Wednesday, Wednesday night, and then Thursday should look pretty pretty nice. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday should have another uh, weather system move our way. So here is a picture of our 24 hour max wind gust for Wednesday and, and Wednesday night. I wanna make sure you guys know that Wednesday night is also gonna be gusty. And it has um, numbers on here ranging from 35 to 39, but we're thinking that, you know, um, gusts ahead and behind the front will gust up to 45 mile per hour. A lot of people are asking about how much precip are we expected to get? So this is a 72 hour precipitation map on the bottom right this is valid monday this morning through thursday morning remember i told you uh it should clear out early early thursday so this is going to be 72 hour precipitation and look at these amounts less than a half inch 
more like uh, less than a tenth of inch in the east, uh, south and east areas. So very, very light amounts. As I said, uh, precipitation forecast for the next five days. So today, as you can see, just a little bit uh, areas in the northern Piedmont. Tuesday, you can see um, some areas in the western Piedmont area. Wednesday, that's when that front will move through. So we have areas of uh, ranging from, you know, a tenth to uh, some areas nearing a half inch, but not quite probably. And then Thursday will be dry. And then we have that next system moving in on Friday. Um, the the five-day rain total is very, very light across our area. With that, severe thunderstorm potential for the next eight days. It stays quite to it stays to our north we have you can see the sliver of the slight risk over um, the indiana ohio area and then um, for the wednesday we just have a general thunderstorms out to our west of the appalachian mountains um, but otherwise uh, across central north carolina we are no severe thunderstorms threats are expected and with that I've been telling you there's going to be light amount of rains with these uh, showers that are going to be moving across the area, so no excessive rainfall amounts within the next three days. Our hazardous weather outlook, as you can see, mostly green. We do have wind, um, a limited category for those strong gusts of up to uh, 45 mile per hour late Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so that is something to think about. Maybe tie down, maybe put away your lawn chairs if they're outside. Um, otherwise, looking good. For the 8 to 14 day outlook. Now look at this. We are in March, March 4th through 10th. This is going to cover um, the pretty much the first week of March. You see all this red? We are in a 60 to 70% chance for above normal temperatures. Our normal temperatures, average temperatures, are nearing 60. So we have near 60 in the Northwest Triad area and um, Raleigh's average high is 61. So we're gonna be probably be, uh, there's a good 60 to 70% chance that we're gonna see above normal temperatures. For precipitation, we will see a 40 to 50% chance above normal precipitation. So it's gonna be hot and wet for looks like for the first part of March. That pretty much wraps up our briefing for today. So like I said, a few showers along the Northern Piedmont possible later today. Uh, expect that um, Tuesday, another scattered showers late afternoon. And then a cold front will come through Wednesday, Wednesday night, clear out early Thursday morning. Um, before that cold front, we're gonna have temps uh, in the mid and upper 70s. After that clears out, we will have Temperature, or we will have gusts of 35 to 45 expected ahead of the front Wednesday, and then strengthening Wednesday afternoon and evening. Behind the front, gusts will continue uh, Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. And then uh, by Friday and into the weekend, another chance of rain as another frontal system moves through the area. So that wraps it up for today. If anybody has any questions, I'll give you 